I'm Lee, an avid angler and author who fishes for anything that swims. Fishing has been an integral aspect of my life. Whether I'm exploring deep reservoirs in the south of France for big carp, English rivers for sizeable barbel, venturing to discover lesser known fish, or simply indulging in the pleasure of fishing in various locations, it's my passion. However, there's always been one fish I've neglected over the years, the Wells catfish. So it's been probably 10 years since I caught my last catfish. I was out in the south of France fishing for carp and as you can imagine there was quite a few catfish in there and we ended up catching more catfish than there was carp. And it's a species that I've neglected for quite a number of years now. But I thought, you know what, spring's in the air, pike season's behind us now and it's time to target a few other species and I thought why not try and catch a few catfish. So I've come down to a venue today that's it's a beautiful venue, I've had my arm in this place for quite a number of years now and I thought I'd come down here, have maybe one or two days fishing and see if we can catch any of the catfish in the lake. So the lake in general, it's a very nice lake. It's my first time actually coming here. I've had a good look around for probably half an hour. Did a little lap of the lake and there's a few anglers fishing on the opposite side. And it gets beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I read on the actual site, well the website for the place, it was dug out in the 1950s. It was used by the actual local gypsum quarry people and it's called Office Lake for that particular reason because the, obviously the officers were on here or nearby and they used to fish it. And what happened was it got neglected for probably 20 odd years and they've basically restored it to its former glory. Now, at first glances, it looks absolutely beautiful. It really does. You've got nice deep margins. On this particular peg I'm fishing, I've got a lovely tree line to my right hand side. And I've actually chose this spot because you can't fish past this peg. It's all closed off. So I'm guessing that with it being a fairly pressured water, you're going to get a lot of fish tucked away. It's just now a case of making some rigs up, getting some bait prepped. Now you can use bait boats on here and I am, believe it or not, this is probably the first time I've used a bait boat on this channel. I haven't used one for years. I've originally bought it for pike fishing, but with the amount of bait that I'm going to be using, it'll make life quite easy to be honest. I'm just going to get a marker rod out, find my depths, find some nice spots and then just basically get some bait out as quickly as possible and then get the rods cast out and go from there. So I've had a good cast around the swim. We've got depths ranging from 10 to 15 foot, which is absolutely brilliant. And it's nice and silty as well. So it's gonna be perfect for any catfish coming through the swim. And what my plan of attack is now, I'm going to have two rods on a big baited area and then the actual right hand rod, I'm gonna roam that around every probably three hours. I've got the bait boat with me. So all I'm gonna do is get two or three handfuls of bait, chuck it in and then send it out to just different areas, random areas. I'm not too forced where I'm gonna place it. But the two rods, the sort of left and middle rod, I'm going to have them out probably 50 yards, maybe 60 yards, and then get a nice big bed of bait out there. And then any fish we catch, I'll just keep topping the swim up after each fish and go from there. But I think the plan of attack now is I'm going to get a mix going and then we can start getting some bait out there, get some rigs in and hopefully try and catch a few fish. So regarding the actual bait I'm using, I'm going to start off with quite a few pieces of fish. I'm just going to cut them into pieces and catfish are going to pick up on this straight away so I'm just going to get probably 12 13 pieces of fish get them in there I've got some spam as well which I've flavored up and to get all them in there nice big chunks another kilo of 21 millers all fish like boilies especially catfish so I'm going to go probably half a kilo. So that is the mix, chopped pieces of fish, pellets, boilies, large pieces of spam. You know, there is a few carp in this lake as well, so you do get the odd bonus fish, but the main target is catfish. So that is ready to go out. Now I've actually put the actual marker float out there. And the plan is I'm fishing probably 50, 60 yards in this area. I've got a nice tree line to use as a marker and we've got the left hand rod and the middle rod are going to be over that baited area and then the right hand rod I'm just going to keep roaming it sort of in this section here and see what happens so I'll get these rigs ready and we'll get some bait out there so 
So I'll quickly talk you through the setup I'm using. Same as always, three and a half pound Tesco for Super Top CTX Rob. This is from Free Spirit. That's loaded with an Ultegra 1400. We've got 24 pound mono on there. That is the minimum braking strain they allow in the rules on here. And you can't have any traces, any trebles or leg core leaders. So I've gone for tubing. I've got two foot of tungsten loaded tubing on a simple leg clip setup, two ounce lead. And then regarding the actual rig, that is probably 18 inches long, nice decent size length rig there. And then I've got two boilies, 20 mil pellet, and then a size four crank. And that is pretty much as basic as you can get it. It's basically scaled up carp fishing tactics. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get this cast out and then I'm going to get the bait boat loaded up with all the bait, get a nice big bed of bait out there. And then hopefully we can get a few in the bag and then we'll sort of concentrate on the right hand rod i think i'm going to roam that around the swim to be honest just try my luck see if we can pick anything up because there's carp there's various other species in here the biggest in here catfish wise is just over 70 pounds there's quite a few carp as well so you never know what's around the corner but for now we'll get this cast out and go from there time I was sort of targeting catfish was probably about 11 years ago. I went to Bluebell Lakes in Peterborough and I was fishing for the carp and I had a few rods out for catfish as well and I managed to lose one of the biggest in the lake. An absolute monstrous looking catfish. I think at the time it was about, I'm sure it was about 100 pounds, something like that. It was an absolute monster of a catfish and I sort of gave up on it back then and then as time went on, you know, a year later we went carp fishing in France and believe it or not, the only fish that was getting caught on that particular week that we were there was catfish, loads of them being caught, and that was my last one. And I think at the time it was about 50, 60 pounds, something like that, it was quite a few years ago, so I think at the time I didn't actually weigh it, I wasn't overly fussed about it, but it was still a nice fish at the time, I was catching them left, right and centre, and you know, it sort of spurred me on years later, obviously down the line, you fish for all different things, different times of years, and this lake in particular is sort of, it's dedicated for catfish and I'm sure it is because the, the amount of pictures I see of them being caught there's a few carp in here there's some eels there's there's tench there's carp there's all different species in here but I think predominantly it is catfish I'm excited to see what we can catch it would be nice to get a decent size one so when I say decent something over the 50 pound barrier but to be honest I mean anything will do at the moment you know it's fairly quiet all around the lake there's probably about five or six people fishing and it's just nice to have a bit of spring in there you know the temperature's warming up the past obviously six months we've been absolutely hammering the pike, done well, and you sort of, now it's time for a bit of a change and I'm just glad we're fishing for another predator because catfish, proper prehistoric looking creatures they really are. When you just, the little small eyes, the big barbs. I do like to fish for everything, you know, I'm an all-round angler so I'll fish for anything that swims. But these catfish, yeah, I've seen some of the pictures in here and there's one fish that I would love to catch and it's, looking at it, it looks about 15, maybe 20 pounds and it's bright orange really small stumpy small catfish but it's bright orange like a goldfish color and i would love to catch that fish i've seen a picture of it on the website so that would be nice if we could catch that but to be honest anything will do at the moment and what i've actually done with the baits i'm fishing obviously bawling and pellets on the rig and i've kept it that way because there's some carp in here as well there's quite a few carps so you do get the best of both worlds when you're trying to target them i could float a dead bait you know try that you can fish on the bottom there's so many different ways you can pop up a dead bait I think with the baits and stuff that I'm using at the moment, it's going to be absolutely bang on. And it's very quiet at the moment anyway, no one's catching anything, so all we can do now is just hope, cross his fingers, that we can get some fish in the bag. I think one of the most exciting things about fishing for catfish is that when they actually take the bait, for me, that's always the thing that the adrenaline rush because when it's a carp or a barbell, the rod screams off. But when you're fishing for catfish, I mean, I've had them to over 100 pounds, so not huge by UK standards or European standards. I mean, some of the fish in the Ebro go to 700 pounds, but on a sort of a venue like this, when that rod goes, literally you get a few bleeps, the reel slowly starts moving and it just stays the same, just constant, slow moving. And it's quite weird whether you catch a 30 pound catfish or a 70 pound catfish, it's always that same slow plodding movement. And we've had quite a few indications on the middle rod at the moment, we're getting a few bleeps. Now there could be a few small fish in there, there could be some carp, or there even could be some small catfish just moving around in the bait. 
and I did put quite a bit of bait out there. I mean, not huge amounts for, for catfish, but I didn't want to go over the top of the bait just in case we didn't catch anything and I ended up wasting a lot because, you know, what you put in, you can't take out. So I was thinking, you know, little and often steady approach. And obviously we haven't had any fish yet, so I'm hoping that going into darkness we can get some action, but I'm just waiting for one of those rods to go off now and that slow, steady pod on the reel and hopefully get a fish. Well, there has been quite a few carp showing along this marginal line in the past four or five hours. And that is where I've actually placed the right-hand rod at the moment, because it seems really quiet on the lake at the moment. Nothing being caught. And this is really the only... Oh! <laughs> What brilliant timing. Just seen one just show just there. They've been jumping out left, right and centre along here. And this really, looking at the lake, is the only bit of cover these catfish will actually have and obviously the carp because the rest of the lake, you've got fairly deep margins all the way along here. And obviously you've got some reed lines and that you've got a few trees coming out there. But other than that, it's very well kept lake, to be honest. Obviously you get natural venues and with it being a day ticket water, they've obviously looked after the lake and chopped trees back and this, that and the other. So as you can see, the water levels are up probably 12 to 18 inches on this section here. So you've got nice deep margins that run all the way along. And then these sort of reed lines, trees. So that's really going to be the only cover these catfish are going to have. But normally when they go out for a feed, they normally end up in the central parts of the lake in the deeper water. So that's one of the reasons why I actually place my baits there. But the amount of carp I've seen over the past four or five hours along here has been unreal. Just up and down this marginal line, moving around. And you never know what's around the corner. You really don't. There could be a few catfish moving along this marginal line as well. Tucked away. But I'm going to game on for tonight for a bite. I really am. And the few chaps that are fishing opposite me across there, they've had absolutely nothing so far. So... All we can do is just sit back and wait for one of these rods to go off. But at the moment, looking at the weather conditions, it's not looking too bad. So we're coming up to about half past five. It's been very, very quiet today. Really, really quiet. I don't think any fish on the lake's been caught whatsoever. However, there has been quite a few carp on this right-hand side of the swim. They've been boshing out left, right and centre. So what I'm thinking, the fish might be patrolling the margins. Now I've got a rod on the right-hand side with probably three or four handfuls of bait. So I'm gonna stick with that. The left-hand rod and the middle rod, I am gonna do a recast on those in probably an hour's time before dark, make sure the rigs are okay. I will put fresh baits on and then just double check everything's okay because I want to make sure that everything's bang on for tonight because I'm going to be gaming on that if we get any bites, it's going to be night time. I really do because today's been a bit of a washout really, nothing happening. Looking at the other anglers on the lake, it seems that the lake isn't fishing that well today to be honest. I mean, there has been a few fish coming out. I think if we'd have had live baits, we might have caught a few fish, but to be honest, that's not really my style. It's going to be the sort of bait and weight approach or maybe fishing dead baits but there is a few pike in this lake and the last thing I want to do is hook a pike with a braided hookling. I'm fishing really heavy braids so yeah I'm just going to keep things really simple at the moment and we've got tonight we've got tomorrow morning so I'm hoping that tonight's going to be the key you know the one way we're going to get the bites but other than that yeah it's just a case of probably returning maybe a week's time give it a bash but oh but we've got so much rain coming in tonight, it's unreal. So I'm hoping that that doesn't stump the fishing. But we are getting the odd liner here and there on the rods. So fingers crossed that we get some action later on. But I'm gonna give it probably an hour. Then I'm gonna recast the left rod and the right hand rod, fresh baits on, and then we'll go from there. So we're coming up to about seven o'clock. We've had a little bit of rain over the past hour, but it seems to have calmed down a bit now. So I think tonight it's gonna to be scattered showers in and out, but 
very quiet day but nobody's catching anything so I'm gonna guess that a lot of the fish on here well in this particular peg and the one next to me they've all been in the upper layers I've seen lots of perch roach I've seen a few catfish the tails moving I've seen plenty of carp on this marginal line on the right hand side if I was in that swim I'd have probably fished zigs something like that but to be honest from the stock of the lake what they say that's in here I thought we might have been in with a chance of getting them off the bottom but to be honest no one's catching anything so I don't think it made an ounce of difference what would have done so it's now game on really we're in the witching hour we've got probably an hour left before it starts to get dark and then it'll be you know game on for trying to catch some of these catfish and there's plenty of bait out there now we have had the odd niggle here and there when I brought both the rigs in on the left rod and the middle rod the pellets had just started to wear away so I put some fresh baits on and I've put them back out into that sort of baited area which is probably 50 yards something like that the right hand rod is now in a margin and I'm just going to concentrate on these areas now and we'll be here till probably eight o'clock in the morning so I'm hoping that we can get some action tonight I can't see why not I mean if there's plenty of catfish in here like they say then there's every chance that we can get a few fish under his belt and obviously with it being my first time just one will do doesn't matter what size it would be nice to catch the bright orange um, catfish that's in here that looks really nice I've never seen one of them in my life it's only about that big but I would love to catch that tonight but I think generally speaking it's just getting one under my belt and going from there but yeah very very quiet so no one's catching anything I've heard nothing and the good thing about this lake is I mean it's fairly small so anybody getting any action you can see I mean the opposite margin is probably 400 yards 350 400 yards so yeah you can see anything that's going off and nothing's been caught at all today so I'm not going to be too hard on myself but I'm going to be game on for tonight getting some catfish I really am so I think I'm going to finish this coffee keep an eye on these rods and then hopefully we can get a few fish in the bag Well, it's that time of the morning where I have to slowly start packing away. Everything's wet and drenched through. But it's been nice to spend a bit of time on the banks. It's been a few weeks since I've been fishing, so I think when this rain calms down over the next couple of days, I'm going to return either on here or a different lake and try a bit of carp fishing or tench fishing, or, you know, I'm going to see what the weather conditions are like and sort of plan my sessions around that. But for now, yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed my time on it. I really have. It's been nice to speak to a few people as well. Like I said, the weather's been up and down the past few weeks, so the fishing's been reflected on that. But I'm sure in the next week or two we can get back out, do some more fishing and hopefully try and get a few in the bag. So I'd just like to thank everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.